Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Advance here, and welcome to a ship review. Now today we are taking a look at this absolute monster, the Caterpillar. Now the Caterpillar is quite a versatile ship. It's a modular ship. It can be used for many purposes, all depending on what modules you load. Today we're going to have a look on the outside and obviously look inside as well. And then later on down the line I will make a flight test video as well. Bit of a pre-warning guys, this is not going to be a short video today because there is a lot to go through and I would like to do it in detail rather than skim over it. Merry Christmas, because it is Christmas Day today, so I hope you've eaten loads and uh, you don't feel too sick. And uh, Merry Christmas and thanks for everyone that supported me over the last year. I know the videos haven't been coming in a massive wave, but I've had a lot going on on my end. But unfortunately my little dog died, I had 15 years, so it's the last sort of couple of months slowed down a little bit. But hopefully in the new year things will speed up a little bit and uh, we'll get back on track. Right, anyway. So let's start from the front. Let's take a look. We have this front, we're calling it a docking collar with these sort of bars that look like they clip onto a collar. There's not a massive amount of information. I've trawled the forum on this one as well, but it does look like that. You can see that that is some sort of uh, hook there. Door does open. We'll take a look at that when we go around the other side pretty cool and then on this side it does look like a caterpillar I suppose it's got all the loads and loads of little legs in it it does as wings as well I suppose you see guns on top there I'll also leave a link in the description as well so you can go and check the uh, weapon load out as well a lot to go through today now a lot some people don't like the red I think it looks pretty good it looks quite industrial and you can see uh, Kovalex on the side there Many, many legs. The only sort of, I wouldn't say negative thing, I'll show you a bit later, I suppose, is I would like to see maybe another couple more points of entry because it's a very, very long ship. The arms come out there. Is that door stuck down a little bit? It looks like it is, isn't it? Doesn't look right to me. Engines here. Now, it would only go in this hangar because uh, cause the length of the ship... Clearly, it's very, very long. It only goes in the Revel and York hangar at the moment because this was originally extended for the staff era. So I suppose it made sense for them just to drop it in there to save them extending the other hangars. I've no doubt they will be extending the other's hangars at some point. And these massive engines on the back. Get back here a little bit. Let's have a look at this. Huge, huge engines. You can see a lot of detail, a lot of work has gone into this. Obviously, the production of these sort of ships take a lot longer than doing a small two-seater ship. And you'll see inside. When you look from the outside, it looks big. But when you go inside, God, I mean, I've done a couple of trial runs inside. And I've got lost a couple of times. It's like when I went in the staff era the first time, running around, getting a bit confused. So I'm, I still get a little bit confused in. I'm not sort of fluent on which directions I'm going. Nice detail here. Inside is just incredible. Every new ship that comes out, the level of detail just goes to another level. And particularly with the interiors now, I think they're getting the interiors. Making the square footage more populated with detail, rather than just having a steel plate, they've now got steel plate pipes. And you see inside when we get, get that far. We have some small weapons on the side there, you can see. Now this has something quite interesting. Uh, it's a shame that I'm not sure if it's going to be... I'm pretty confident you can't do it yet. That is a command module. So that detaches from the ship. So if you look at from the front... Oh, we probably can't see from the front, can we? Because uh, can't get quite that far back. You can see the command module there. Quite a way away from the front, isn't it? So you're quite a long way away. And then obviously on this side, you see what I mean now, you've got like just the wing. There is a view deck on that side as well. So the idea is, is this is a self-containing module and that will, that will can detach. There's double doors as well, so they thawed it out. Seating area there. Once again, it looks small, but there's two floors. I think there's two floors in there. A bunk room and a top room as well. 
So this is this will have a door, I'm guessing. And it looks like there is some sort of other mechanisms here you can see, look. And obviously it's gonna have landing legs as well. But this would be pretty cool, because if you're in outskirts of space, there's nothing stopping you detaching that and going down to, uh, you know, planet side landing. And if you think about that, the sort of the amount of uses you could use this ship for. You could look at it that way, really. It's it's its own little snub fighter, but it's just got more facilities on board. I know what you're going to think. Yeah, you're leaving the main bit behind. What if someone steals it? There is that, but I suppose if you left in your snub fighter, what's stopping you someone stealing your ship? I know there will be some sort of defences, but I'm sure you can lock the ship down to some instance or something. Right, okay, so this is the way in. Yeah, that don't look right to me. We'll give it a crack anyway. Oh, there we go. Correcting itself. Been a few little bugs with this door. It needs a little bit of uh, sharpening up. As far as I'm aware, this is the only way in. It's not that bad because you start... You actually start on the main part. And what I mean is you, you, you're not in the cargo area. You're in the forward part of the ship. For me, I don't know what you guys think. I think that the interiors are better than the exteriors. Like for detail. I mean, in, do you see what I mean? If you look at square footage, the, the amount of detail per square foot, or even square meter, it just looks incredible. And that... Adding that much detail behind the pipes, having the plastic that sits behind it, you can even see behind it the box. Having that there just makes it just look so real. It does, doesn't it? It looks absolutely incredible. You've got this room. This is the main room you come into. You've got these boxes everywhere. Emergency supplies. First aid. There's quite a few of them around the place. There's lots of consoles around the ship as well. You'll see them as we're walking around. And this later on will be a part of that mini game. When there's an issue on the ship, you're going to get an alarm go off or a leak or something like that. And you've got to go and repair it. So, I don't think which way do we go first. There's so many options here. Let's go this way first. Corridor here, not much in here really, guys. A couple of panels. Like I said, this could be something to do with the mini game thing. Anywhere there's a panel, you can see the placeholder panels, so there will be something at some point. One thing I was thinking about these panels when you go up to a panel, if you click on it, I would sort of like that screen to get really big and take up maybe a quarter of the screen or something. You see what I mean? So it sort of zooms out rather than looking at that little thing. It'd be interesting to see how they, they do these smaller panels because looking at that, you're not going to get many buttons on there you're going to be able to interact with. Unless it's just like on or off. They look like air conditioning vents or something. God, I mean, just why? I, I'm going to say why. Why go to this much detail? But it makes such a difference. Just so much. I mean, just creating this section must have taken blooming ages. Not a massive amount in here. You can actually use this. I did have a look last time. I'm making the assumption that that will not be the final display. Because that is the sort of the standard display on all the ships at the moment. This is probably going to get a bit confusing now. So that goes upstairs. Well, we can get two ways we can get upstairs. There's that ladder all this way. Okay, so, right, we've got two directions you can go here. And if you remember, do you know when I was standing outside and I said that there's a command pod? So, just to show you. Double airlock. That's the sort of the command pod. pod. You can see that this is where it detaches. That's the second door. And then on this side, which makes sense, there's a viewing deck. I suppose this has got to be here for two reasons, really. Because... Without the other side, you, you're not going to be able to do much, are you? <laughs> because if the other side's not there, you're not going to be able to see out. Viewing angles are great in here as well. I mean, just, a, just a, as an overall observation deck anyway, I mean, 
you're coming under attack or I think they've done really well with the placement as well I'll put in you'll see on the other side in a minute the viewing decks are over the top of the top of the uh, roof of the ship which makes the viewing angles much much better although it is long from here it doesn't look that bad does it I suppose it's perspective really when you're outside done a really nice job here and then down here This is the uh, command pod. Imagine this. Now, this is a sort of a self-contained. When that door shuts, between that staircase there and where we are now, we're in a sort of a little shuttle that sort of bolts on the side, the best way to explain it. And obviously, you've got the uh, main seat up the front there. Look at that controller. That looks crazy, doesn't it? Look at the detail on that. That's probably one of the best ones I've seen so far. And as we do that, let's have a look then. Wow, that looks amazing, doesn't it? I hope he presses all them buttons, like press the stop button. Stop button? I wonder, if, I wonder what's the detach the module button. <laughs> the displays look very good. And I've said this before as well. I, I prefer having the... Particularly on the bigger ships, right? Okay, fair enough, a fighter. You do want the, the displays more in the field of view to some extent so you can see what's going on. I prefer having the field of view and then look down to see anything else because let's be honest that the most of the time that you're going to be using this you're not going to be in combat all the time well you could be depending on what you're using it for but this is absolutely amazing and they've actually marked out all the displays as well look target display radar support 2 and that that steering wheel that's something else isn't it I'm guessing that that little stick could be for mount to Redocking the command module could be pressure th thrust a stop button. What does that do? Probably obvious, isn't it? Turn it off. Just looks incredible, doesn't it? Every new ship that comes out, it just goes to another level. Say the same thing I said before. You know, if you're waiting for your ship, sometimes it's a good thing, guys, because uh, they're getting better and better at doing this. So that means your ship's going to look even better. <laughs> Uh, what else we got? So we got the co-pilot seat. We've seen the co-pilot seat before. He gets a, you know, the same sort of uh, display. We've seen that. And then we got what's this one here? So I'm to sit in this one. All the displays are the same at the moment. Yeah. Let's get out of this one. There's a little bug there where that thing keeps appearing every now and again. Oh, flip you around a little bit there. So four seats in here displays here and these will be used no doubt what do you think about the um the door entry system i saw the sorry let's rephrase that the ladder i prefer what i mean is is to go down this ladder i walk into it to action it i know it can get annoying sometimes when you're standing near a ladder and it makes you go down the ladder when you don't want to go down the ladder but i actually quite like it i think that i'm going towards it as long as they put the ladders in a place where you you know you not an extra seat or something so you keep going down the blooming ladder and the animations as well we'll just do that again so I'll show you look the climb animations uh not perfect but it definitely looks uh, very realistic they've got the, look, the hands going down and that <laughs> I mean it's not like armor isn't it when you go down a ladder and his hands are in between the rails <laughs> and then down here we've got the the little quarters basically we've got four beds which is great for saving so that means you can all log out and save it which is brilliant got a little shower here with no door so perfectly adequate i haven't seen a ship with a bath yet have you i was thinking about that some nice piping coming around here very industrial sort of look isn't it this is your dinner table, I think. It's all you get in there. Get a couple of people in there, couldn't you? And then we've got some other little panels here. They look like some sort of weird heat and air conditioning things again. And this little uh, deck here as well. Pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, so this is almost like a little mini ship, if you think of it that way. So let's go back into the uh, other part of the ship now.
look out the window. So down that way is towards the cargo hold. Let's just make sure that we've covered everything off to the rear. I'm pretty certain we have. There is one other door. That's down. That's the way we came, isn't it? Let's go in here. Let's have a look. Okay, another little room here. Looks like power to me. Was that gravity generator? Should really go and look on the schematics, or should I go and check? That's look pretty cool, though. That's quite a bit of detail on that. Looks like we should better pull that handle as well. Hopefully there's some sort of atmosphere and these fans start moving and all that sort of stuff later on. Okay, that goes around there. Okay. Around in a circle. A bit weird, isn't it? We would have thought that could have been the same room. Maybe because it's quite narrow. Server room. If you've been following the Star Citizen videos, they've been working on sound a lot between different environments. So look, if you listen. Subtle, but I think, I think sound is important as well to make it a, the immersion really, really good. Some more of these panels again. Whoa, look at them. Cat 5 cables, guys. Remember me old work when we had to go and sort the server room out with thousands of cables. It was like a, like a bird's nest. So whoever's done that has done, has done a good job. <laughs> yeah, lots of wires coming out of here. It gets confusing, doesn't it? So that's that little room there. So there's not much in there. We have another way around here. I think that's going to take us back. You probably need to spend a little bit of time in here, just to sort of, uh, yeah, this is uh, that room again. This is the turret. We can have a look at that in a second, but there is a little bit of a... I'm going to go in the turret just to show you, but there is a little, there could be a bug here. And I, I don't feel like the turret is actually finished yet, and you see what I mean? If you compare the textures and everything to the rest of the ship, you can see that this is not polished. The good news is, guys, yeah, you do flip upside down, so great news, so you actually have a proper view. But if you look inside, this looks pretty rubbish to me. No no disrespect to Star Citizen, but compared to the quality of everything else, this the textures in here don't look good. What do you think? It just don't look very good, does it? I'm making the assumption that this is going to be updated later on. Unless this qualifies for external polys, I don't know. I'm not 100% certain, but it just doesn't look quite right to me. But the good news is it's a uh, upside-down turret. So you're going to be able to uh, shoot much easier than obviously being the other way with some of the other ships. Now this is where the bug is, guys. See how I might be alright. There's a little issue on the door coming out here, but it'll be fine. Oh, made it out. So a little bit of work on that. I mean, things do react slightly different in-game, like in the PTU, than they do in the hangar. And, uh, you know, take into consideration that this hangar was extended originally for the staff era. So, I'm sure all the ships haven't been tested out yet. Okay. Uh, another little room. We're now going... This is... We're going back now to the rear. This is the, the main... It's where we came in earlier. A couple of doors in here as well. If you are not on that command pod, obviously you can sleep in here as well. There's beds in here. This, do you know what this So when I came in this room the first time and I saw it from this angle, doesn't this remind you of um, Alien? When they have that little seating area with all the cups and they're sitting around. It just, just looks very similar. I think that maybe that might have been a little bit of the inspiration there, but it does look... Uh, they've done a really good job once again. What's this thing here? Is that a cooker? sink on them little things again i'll keep seeing these uh, emergency supplies it's making me wonder that is it something you just placed everywhere or is that going to be a part of the game as well small display there that looks like the star trek enterprise there more displays there a lot of these displays, I suppose, I mean, there's quite a way to go to get to the cop, you know, to get to somewhere where you can see something. Because there's no windows, so you're going to need some 
particularly for the crew, there's going to have to be some information fed to these so people know what's going on. Like, is, is a ship coming towards you? Is there a planet? Or, you know, you need to communicate that uh, information with the rest of the crew. Particularly if you've got your friends on board, you don't want them to keep running up to your console to see what you can see. That'd be really annoying, wouldn't it? More air conditioning there. Now, we start moving... <laughs> this is quite funny. We start moving into double airlocks now because it... Cause, cause, oh, something there. Climbed on table. And the first time I did this, I thought, yeah, it looks like a bug for a second. Look, if you just run down here, look. My God. <laughs> oh, I'm childish, and I? <laughs> I'm going to go back to the first one. I oh, might be the first one there. I mean, that is ridiculous, isn't it? So you've got double airlocks for each one of these little containers. I thought that was really cool. There's obviously there's access systems there. Which are obviously not all fed in. I'm sure these are going to be coming in 3.0 when they bring a... And then we've got... Oh, yes. If you think of the, the use case of this, right, because... Um, let's do this one as well. And this is why... The, the, this is a, a definite strength of the cat pillar, right? It's, it's the ability to access the door on either side. Because of the shape of the ship, there's no dependency. Because there's no physical structure, i.e. living quarters or anything like that to the left or right. So it gives you that massive flexibility. I mean, all these little pods could be all different things. You could have them as medical, research, with cargo. It is an all-rounder ship. And it, at, with all fairness, it does quite a lot of them pretty good. Quite high in here as well. Let's just try something there. Did that? Is that me, or maybe I'm just seeing things? Did that door change colour when I did that? Let's try it again. Didn't did it? Seeing things. Maybe because of the door open as I did it. You can actually see all the actuators in there as well. I didn't notice that last time. Let's do that again. What's really, really impressive about this, they've actually gone through the process. I mean, they could have boarded this up so we couldn't see it, right? But they've actually put in... I mean, I couldn't say if they've done it correctly, but they've put in the actuators there that... I don't know, if you've really built it, it probably will work. Probably would, wouldn't it? I mean, this is engineering, just, <laughs> isn't it? What's this say here? Danger. Oh, put your hands in there. Jesus, it'd do more than that. Tear your arm off. We'll go over this side. So we've got a little ladder over here. Let's close this anyway, because we get a bit of glare coming in with the door open. And we've got this up here. Now this, if I remember right, hang on, double check. So if you remember where we were earlier now, this is the little cockpit thing, you know, the little the little pod, if you want to call it that. That's the viewing deck. And if we would have gone back down this way, this is upstairs from the canteen area, is it? Looks like it. Look at that. Go up there. No, we can't go up there. We'll see in there. It's like an airlock, doesn't it? And this corridor runs the whole length now, so this is on the hide platform area. Which actually, we'll go down the bottom. And we can always come back up the top. And these are all much the same, really. I mean, there's no difference here. The only different one is obviously the rear... The rear section, which is this one. A bit weird, actually. I don't know if you... Maybe it's me. Maybe... Did that just adjust? Let me just have a look at something there. Just looking at... I'm looking that way, right? If you look at the green, look at the dark, look at the shadows. This looks great. 
right? This is not right, is it? The shadows are not here, are they? The depth of field doesn't look quite the same. I don't know why. I think that looks better to me. That looks brilliant. The depth, the lighting there, and the different reflections over the sections make it look really good. Where you walk into here, and all of a sudden, that you, just, you seem to lose that, and you've lost all depth of field. There is some light there, but something not right in here. That'd be my take anyway. I did feel a little bit... You notice it. And it goes without saying, you see the effort that has gone to making something like this. And what makes these environments look so, so good with all the different shades of lighting, the different flashes, the colours, the reflections, the shadows. And that really makes it look really, really good. And I think that out here it doesn't look as good. But I'm sure that maybe they're going to fix that. Or maybe... There's no beaming light here that should be lighting up in here, is there? There's a little bit of a light there, but... So, there's a door here as well. We, we can take a look up there in a second, because we can go up the steps. This is the, uh... A big door. That's a little bit of a dinosaur, did not it? <laughs> it's like a big whale, isn't it? Like, it's going to be eating things. You just open the door and you just eat them and show, close the door. <laughs> you probably could do that, actually, could you? It wouldn't surprise me if someone would probably think of that. You could actually pick up space debris, just, just fly into it, couldn't you? Just leave the front door open, fly into it, and just get someone to shut the door. And then you can salvage it in here. Shame it didn't go a little bit further back that way. <laughs> and this door, wow, I mean, a, a feat of engineering, this one, isn't it? I think we're going to have to do this a few times. Right, so we've got, this, we've got them big rams there that pull this massive arm in. And then, as the arm pulls in, this one pulls up, and then the final one is uh, is, the, is the bottom section there. Let's have a look, see if we can... Uh... Actually, it pulls back quite far, and if you remember from the outside, there is quite a big lip on the front there as well. So we're going to do it again, clearly, aren't we? That was the button. Yeah, I know these buttons are getting updated in 3.0, so... Sound effects are absolutely brilliant, aren't they? We've got to give them a 10 out of 10 for the sound effects as well. They're really encapsulating the sound of what you expect the door like this to be. They've done a very good job. They might, they can maybe have a bit more of a bang at the end, maybe a bit more of a dong, you know, to make it feel really heavy. Very, very impressive. So, we're going to go and take a quick look up there. There's not a massive man up there, but we'll go check it out. Little viewing deck. What's that do there? I didn't try that one last time actually. We couldn't get the button. Let's see if we can get the button this time. Keep pops that over here. I can do the door from here. So if you want to do the old space well thing, guys, and eat another ship, you can actually do it quite safely by standing here. <laughs> you could probably eat an aurora, couldn't you? <laughs> Put on the button again. Almost like a, a mechanism, like a bin lorry, isn't it? The, uh, the old crusher they have. And then obviously we got the final one. We can try this. Might go wrong. Fingers crossed. A few sound problems there. So this looks a little bit better. A little bit better. I say little. It, it could also be that... I, I don't know if you've noticed. Well... I'm probably, probably, maybe some of you have. I don't think, well, I don't think I know that the lighting in the hangars and the ships, and particularly these larger ships, are just not right. There is no shadows in here at all. There's no ambient light reflections, you know, so this is more to do with uh, polishing and stuff like that, so it won't take long for them to do that, no doubt. This is not bad. Let's have a look. Let's think of the logic here. Okay, so you're shooting. First of all, you're up the right way, so viewing angles are okay. A bit of a blind spot on the pillar there, but I suppose if, if you're sort of 
shooting forward, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because that's just a view, view up. That's pretty good. Not much of a view down. That is the rested view. So not bad, is it? I mean, it's... I'm still not too sure about the... I think that they need, still need to improve the turret. So we all know that. That turrets need a, some sort of mechanic in place. I mean, maybe something like what armor had. You know, the tracking. Once you're aimed on a target, no matter what... How the ship physically turns, you stay aimed on that point you're aimed on. Unless it goes outside the arc. This whole area looks fantastic as well. They've done a really good job as well. And then back down this way. I'm pretty certain. Let's do the old... Uh... Oh. Dizzy. <laughs> it's a real long ship to run down there. You run the full length. Oh, I actually jumped down there. That's a bit different. So yeah, very impressive. I am impressed with it. I mean, they've done, gone to, to they've definitely take it to another level. I'm, I'm looking, comparing to the other ships. I mean, the Starfarer was probably the first one I think that they've done a really good job on. I'm not saying all the other ones are not as good, but I mean from, from a detail point of view. I mean, the atmosphere. Have you noticed as well? Some of the rooms have atmosphere. Some of them don't. There is a sort of a misty fog in here. And then, understand, oh, we're not in that room, is there? Or isn't here? Okay, I'll get it. Maybe it's something to do with heat or... Shadows look fantastic. So, it's final up. Let's get outside. Open the door. This beast. Take a stand back and take a look. You're going to have good calf muffle, muscles with this ship, guys, after a while. So what do I think? It is very impressive, I must admit. I mean, for it's a game within itself inside the blooming ship, isn't it? It's just so big. I understand that there is you know, bigger ships coming in. And some of the ones I've got are a little you know, bigger. I can't imagine what they're going to be like. Once you've been running around the ship a little while, you do get to understand. Actually, do you know what? I've got a really bad feeling I might have missed something out up there, but it's not an issue. What I'm going to do anyway on the fly test, guys, I'm going to jump in all the top turrets and the viewing and viewing areas later on. So I'm looking at the top there, thinking, did I go up there? Oh, I did. Oh, that's the little. That's the viewing platform on that side, isn't it? There's one on this side as well. That was the uh, just the viewing. And this one is the... Yeah, that's right. I did go in there. I may have missed a room. I'm pretty certain I haven't, guys. I'm going to be doing a flight test on this. I am I would like to wait, really, until I can detach the command pod and detach it. But I've got a feeling that's going to be quite a way down the line. So I'll probably do the flight test, give it a go, and give it a go in combat as well. I mean, at the end of the day, it's got guns for a reason. I understand that, you know, a lot of the roles that it can play where... You it's not going to be your your sole thing, but at the end of the day, it's got guns. We're going to try them out, aren't we? So, ladies and gentlemen, anyway, I think the, the final thing on the agenda today is uh, make sure you enjoy your rest of Christmas. Uh, maybe have a beer or brandy or whatever you fancy or a cake from me. And uh, look forward to some new videos in the new year, guys. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.